Is Greenberry really your favorite? Greenberry was my favorite <laughs> until the, it was until uh, uh, Vanilla Vegan. <gasps> we haven't tried it yet with, ah, look at you. Honey, did you hear that? I did. <laughs> so Greenberry is my favorite. I think I'm the only one in the world that loves I drink it straight up, shake it and love it, and uh... well, there's a unique. It's different. It's not chocolate, it's not vanilla, it's not strawberry, it's not cafe latte, it's not yeah. all the ones that are, you know, everybody from the taste. It just tastes, I don't know, kind of cool. I love it. But that vanilla vegan man, jeez. Say oh, hi to Ronnie. Hey, he's Ronnie. he's done X3 a couple times. He's a big fan. Does yoga. He loves yoga. Hey, hey, Tony. You're it's a wise so... man for having only lived three lifetimes, my brother. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> It's so great to have you in our, our uh, kitchen and dining room after you've been in our workout room for so long. Yeah, it's about really, time. really about awesome time. for you We're to be here. Around. I got a great view of the ocean. Fantastic. <laughs> Love everything about the way you decorate. I got a, I got a quick question for you. Uh -oh. uh, this is my wife's second career. She did banking industry for most of her life. She was in charge of a $25 million account. And um, did you, were you involved in something else besides per personal fitness for your career? He's a mime. Oh. Yeah, I was in everything. I was a carpenter. I was a mime. I was a handyman. I was a go-go dancer. I was, uh, I was, um, she's, uh, yeah, I mean, any odd job that I could possibly do, because I was pretty good with my hands. You know, I could, I was good with tools. I learned that as a kid. I took carpentry classes all through high school. So I could build anything. Most of my furniture when I was broke was stuff that I built, you know, end tables, coffee tables, you know, shelving units, that's, I had to build it because I couldn't afford to buy any of that stuff. And um, I was I was Dolly Parker's gardener for, for a summer. You know what I mean? Nice. I mean, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> she was the nicest lady in the world. Absolutely one of the most spectacular humans ever. And um, uh, you could tell because when they had those fires uh, outside of Dollywood, I mean, yes. she just went full steam ahead and helped all those people. I mean, she said, that's just who she is. She even loaned me money twice, which if you can believe that. I finally paid her back when P90X got successful. I nice. <laughs> but thank you, whatever, like 10 years later. <laughs> so, but you know, fitness was a mistake. I wasn't supposed to be this guy. I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be Brad, per Brad Pitt and Jim Carrey. That's, yeah. I wanted to be the, you know, I wanted to be the leading man who was funny. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I took all the acting classes and did the improv classes and did stand-up comedy and did all that stuff. And that's the reason why I'm pretty comfortable on camera. Yeah. That's not hard for me because the fitness thing was a side thing to make money. After all the other odd jobs went away, I started training my boss over 20 Century Fox. I was a production assistant just running around feeding cats and, you know, making coffee and delivering scripts and buying, you know, copy paper, whatever I was doing. And, um, you know, whatever, folding beach towels at the house. I just had the goofy, goofiest job. And, um, I got him in shape. He introduced me to Tom Petty. Tom Petty called. I hung up on him. You know, <laughs> two great coach. And uh, he called back, thank God. And I got Tom in shape. And then it was Tom and Billy Idol and Annie Lennox and Stephen Stills and Sean Connery. Submarines don't react well to bullets. So my friend turned Tony Curran. So if you look at the, uh, my uh, Facebook page, there's a picture of Tony Curran and me in black and white. And my buddy Steve Holmson, who helped me co-create uh, P90X2, you can go to Facebook and see it. And so Tony's a scotsman, and he was in The Invincibles or something with Sean Connery six months on that film set. Oh, my God. And so <laughs> Sean Connery told him a joke. So here's a Sean Connery joke. All right, so Sean Connery told this joke to Tony Curran, who told it to me this weekend in Mammoth. Nice. In Super inside baseball. <laughs> so the joke goes like this, and I can't do the best Sean Connery, but I'm going to try. <laughs> it's one of those like, is that funny? I don't know. So Sean Connery goes to Tony or, uh, Tony Curran. And he says, "So Tony, a monkey walks into the bar. I forget the rest of the joke, but your mom's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> a monkey walks into a bar. Well, I forget the rest of the joke, but your mom's a whore." But, you know, <laughs> I just was like, what? Oh, Sean Connery, go. holy crap. That's, that's good. Tony, thank you so well, very much for all your inspiration. Thank yes, you. we I appreciate it all. Keep up the good work. Smoke. The gal's a winner. So are you. Boom. Awesome, awesome stuff. Oh my gosh. So any 